who is authorized to serve the Lord's Supper. Nowadays, it has become common for Christian churches to restrict who is allowed to serve the Lord's Supper. For Catholics and Orthodox, it is only their priests. For Protestants, it is their official clergy, and for Evangelicals, it is their ordained pastors. Seven Advantages of Limiting Who Can Serve Communion This creates respect towards leadership. This ensures a respectful, orderly service. This permits doctrinally correct explanations. This promotes regular attendance at church services. This allows the clergy to impose discipline upon members. This justifies paying a salary to approved church leaders. And this safeguards the unity of approved congregations. Seven Inconveniences of Limiting Who Can Serve Communion Believers cannot obey Christ without clergy. It is not possible to start new churches without clergy. Cells and small groups cannot function as real churches. This limitation perpetuates a non-biblical class of privileged clergy. It proves impossible to raise up gifted pastoral leaders who happen to lack official qualification. In denying others the right to serve communion, the clergy effectively disallow others obeying Christ's commandment. Millions of Christ followers, not able to attend a church service, miss the grace and blessing of God in the Eucharist. Jesus commands church leaders to teach others to obey his commandments. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age." And nowhere did Jesus ever confer to clergy alone the right to serve communion. Seven Advantages of Teaching Ordinary Believers to Celebrate the Lord's Table in the Absence of Clergy Families who celebrate the table in their home experience more forgiveness and harmony. Small groups that serve the table become real, lively little churches within their bigger mother church. Laymen who administer the table outside of their church fulfill a pastoral ministry to a wider community. Laymen serving communion to new believers outside of a church building help them to become obedient disciples of Jesus. New believers taking communion together quickly become new churches as part of a mother church's multiplication strategy. Obeying all of Jesus' commandments remains a very rapid way of identifying and of training many new pastoral workers wherever there are not enough educated leaders. Just as Jesus delegated his authority to the Twelve and to the Seventy-Two, so pastors can widen their ministry by delegating their authority to trustworthy laymen. Seven Guidelines for Empowering Others to Serve the Lord's Supper Instruct heads of household to serve the Lord's Supper to their family and friends at home. Hold short training sessions in ways of serving the table that are appropriate to small gatherings. Appoint lay volunteers who help you in your pastoral work, delegating to them authority to serve communion. Coach those volunteers regularly 
and listen to their reports on how they implement Jesus' commandments, including the table. Incorporate the Lord's Supper into discipleship programs through those who make disciples of others. Demonstrate great respect for the Eucharist in church meetings so that believers will learn respect and have a deeper experience of grace. In a church multiplication movement, authorize church planters to authorize in turn new leaders of new cells and churches to a fourth generation. Seven Objections and Their Solution My denomination only allows ordained clergy to serve communion. Every denomination has official rules for allowing laymen to serve communion. Learn those rules. There is no one mature enough in my church to be trusted to serve the Lord's Supper. You must trust, train, and supervise such workers. If I allowed others to serve communion outside of my congregation, then they might cause factions and split the church. If you delegate that responsibility to those whom you coach, then most of them will remain loyal to you. My serving the Lord's table is how I maintain the members' respect for me and for pastoral ministry. As your church spawns new cells and churches, Others' respect for you will grow much more. Our church's liturgy requires vestments, equipment, chants, pomp, and ceremony. Fine, but in cells and new little churches, allow a simpler liturgy that new workers can imitate easily. The theology of the Eucharist is very complex, hard to understand, and harder to explain. In new churches, focus on obedience by partaking in the Lord's Supper and reserve teaching about it for special classes. If just any fool were to go around holding communion services, then it would degenerate into confusion and magical nonsense. We cannot stop fools, but the Lord himself deals with those who abuse his table.